Yo, what is good, y'all? It's your boy Todd back here with another video. In this video today, we are going to be reacting to DBG ranking the top shooting guards in NBA 2K21. My team disappointed out this video was dropped before the Pink Diamond Modern Trinobly was released, so he probably will not be included in this shooting guard video. Make sure to go show big time love on DBG's video. Drop a like and make sure if you aren't subscribed that you smash that subscribe button. The link to his channel will be down below in the description. So make sure to go check that out. If you are new to my channel and have not yet, please smash that subscribe button as you're on the road to 35,000 subscribers. I know DBG and I share a lot of the same opinions, some different opinions. So I'm very, very intrigued to kind of see where he has these shooting guard ranks. I ranked my top 10 shooting guards. So we'll see even within my top 10 where he prioritizes those guys. But let's hop right into the video so first of all who we got first we have got james harden. who we got first james harden is I wanna i've never really used james harden and i wouldn't use james harden at this point see probably here offensively he's a good card like anyone even if, you, if you're not the biggest fan of james harden card which i'm not i'm gonna say this right now I i'm not either he's the greatest card in the world i'm not the biggest fan of this card but he's good I don't get me wrong. He's a good, but good how player. good is he really? Offensively, he can shoot a little bit. He can. He's got good badges. He can score. But he's he a day one card. Also, we're just gonna be looking at cards as they are, and not with upgraded badges and evos. I don't know. Evos man. will be their top evo. But man, Harden's nice. Harden's a lot better than some people give credit for. As far as curtain cards, and go, maybe, he's right up there. With and maybe I don't give Harden enough credit, but, but I just I could never use However, his Harden card. I don't. This think. is my opinion of better card. It's Paul George. Who put you got PG and A tier. So, George. <sighs> now I, I don't mind PG, but in A tier. In an A tier. Oof. Paul George is so. Where's a guy like Amy Kobe gonna go then? Freaking I mean. good lots. Silver clamps, bronze range extended. He's okay. Speed, pro five behind the back. Good release. He's Good okay. Three balls. He's just Especially a little outdated, man. Very, very easily. A great, great card. Just a little outdated. And he belongs in A tier. Next, we've got Clay Thompson. So I would put Clay over Paul George, but. I'm taking PG over Clay, in my opinion. He's glitched. Clay he Thompson is. is glitched. And, he and every time I run into Clay, I, I'm happy because he's going to guard my center, man. Guards the other team center. And most people don't. There's Adjust. no way to do it. You switch your matchups and put him guarding a guard. He will switch and guard the other team center. Oh, he'll, he'll guard the center no matter what. I did, I've never ran Clay, but no matter when I'm going against Clay, he just guards my center. I didn't know if he tried switching matchups if he would stay there or not. But look, he's on. He's basically unusable. I if don't that's know the case. what it is. I mean, I think we can just have to accept that a lot of Clay Thompson cards are broken in 2K. They are. It's happened in NBA 2K19 as well. And they can't, can't fix it. 2K20. They cannot fix it. 2K20, if you had the pink diamond Clay Thompson or either of the ruby Clay Thompsons, he guarded your team centers. His it's Clay terrible. TTO, yes. No question about it. Clay is good in TTO. Clay's release is fire, too. I first to say that right now. His release is butter. really good in TTO. But, again, if you can't use him on limited because he guards your team centers, you can't. it's not like he's even you got high enough use him. to do that. He just... He's a card... He should be good, but he's just not. Then we've got Bradley Beal. I'm gonna go D tier. I Bradley Beal is not very good. Don't like. I don't. He's, he's not good. very good. I really. I just don't think. I had to do a challenge with him, and he's not very good. Bradley Beal is good. I've tried to use him a few times, and he just is not. He's not. not he's he he's simply wants. not good. He does a few things okay. He's a decent enough shooter, but I, I mean, as far as current cards go, he's okay. But I mean, in general, he's not a good card. Like I'd be very, very tempted to put him down the worthless category. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be interested to see who he does put in worthless. And we I got mean, Marcus Smart. I'm putting the Smart in C tier. He I've never used Marcus Smart. And I don't think I will ever use Marcus Smart. I just can. I just. I can't see a gold Marcus Smart being C tier. Maybe that's me. I would probably put him in D tier. Also, but I don't know. Maybe on worthless. Here, you I just. He's not going to be in any tier. I don't understand it. Zach Levine. I go D. I go D. I mean, these cards aren't playing on the court D, though. That's the thing. Devin Booker D. Nah, none D. of these guys are playing. Jalen Brown. What are all these cards I'm doing? Gonna, I think man. I might put Jalen Brown work. I, I don't know about Jalen Brown. I really don't know. I just my thing is I would never use any of these cards at D or C ever. I don't. Really I know haven't all, used them. I've not used any of these it's cards. It's hard to like. It's hard to judge him because he's got a couple of decent bronze bars. He's got bronze clamps, so bronze clamps I gotta put him D tier. Mitchell is going D as well. A lot of these current. I don't feel like Donovan Mitchell is that bad. 
Like, I truly don't. As far as who's at D tier, I think Donovan's the best by far. He'd be at C tier for me. For me, he would be C. Luca, however, Luca's going to be. Man, Luca's nice, especially with the Porzingis duo. I'm a fan of this Luca card. His re if I'm not. I mean, truly, if you want me to be honest with you, I'm not. If you play with the button, he's not going to be near it as goes if you play with the stick. Because and nobody's playing with the stick now, because and they broke Luca's release last year. Luca's release was good, and now what is he working with? His release is terrible. Release is it's terrible. Doncic's release is just broken. It's bad. It is just absolutely uh -huh. broken. Disgusting. However, Despicable. Still a card that I like. Still a card I that do I like. not like him. Then we got Kobe Bryant. Evo Ruby Kobe is basically a Ruby Kobe. I've never even played against the, the Ruby Kobe. Card. If you've evoed that Kobe to a Ruby, you're a grinder. That's all I'm gonna say, man. Amethyst Kobe, and I'm not even kidding. They're basically same card, except for you can add badge to the Amethyst. The Amethyst Kobe is good. So, the Amethyst Kobe is good. Ruby Kobe, I gotta put him in A tier. He is a fair, I, he is a very I can't nice. argue Actually, that. He the Hall of Fame badges. Oh, I'll put him B, I'll put him B. I'll I him can't B. argue anything, because I don't know. He does get bonus subs, though, which, is, which helps. He'd be the best card here in B tier when he's evoed. But he's very, very difficult to evoke, trust me. Very difficult. We got Larry right. Hughes for a domination. I don't think Larry's like, bad. Again, I don't think Larry's like, bad. When he's, he's Evo, he is not card. bad at all. Fine. Like I'm looking at it, it over fine. here, he and he's nice he's when he's Evo. Climb silver quick for a step. He's nice when he's Evo. He doesn't give quite enough on offense really to put him above this. He's year, fine. He's got a decent enough release. I like fine, Larry I Hughes when he's Evo. Like, I really do. Oh, my really I like the card when he's Evo. He's good. If he can play point guard, things be a bit different. He's still good. I'll put him in B for now. I don't know. He He's probably the best Dom player in B. A slightly worse version. Still got centers though, so C tier. That the clay Sean is not Stevenson. even usable. A. Wow. Deshaun Stevenson is. Clean. See, here's where I don't necessarily agree. Now, I haven't. I'm not gonna sit here and say I played a ton of games with my Deshaun Stevenson. But what I am going to tell you is I don't know if I would take Deshaun Stevenson over my Clay Thompson, and that's where it comes down to it. I don't know, or not over Clay Thompson, over over my Larry Hughes. When it's between Deshaun Stevenson and Larry Hughes, I don't know who I'm taking. Wow. Probably Larry Hughes, he's a little and that's slow the thing. Going to the basket, but he's got silver clamps and high three ball. Defensively, he's good. I'm pretty sure, and he also greens a hell of a lot. In unlimited, he barely misses. He actually can even hit in TTO. That's how good this card is. Deshaun Stevenson. I still think I might take Larry Hughes, but that might be me. And he belongs. I think he belongs in the spot that I put him on this list, which is. I don't disagree though. I like Deshaun, man. I think I forgot Kerry Kittles. I may. I'm just looking through my list. Kerry would be yeah, A. I'm looking through other token rewards. Kerry would be I A. I want to check is Kerry Kittles. He is a two guard. I forgot about Kerry Kittles. Kerry Kittles would be A tier. As He's well. A tier, absolutely. Yep. Kittles He's would good. be A tier. He's good. Then we got Kendall Gill. Kendall Gill's on like Kobe level of B tier. Great badges, great. I just style. think Larry Hughes is better than all of these cards, but that's my opinion. Unfortunately, the thing with Kendall Gill is that that's my he's opinion. just. Just a little bit low three point rating, so he's not going to be the and most. And three point rating is very important this year. Super, when super important, at, like, man. TTO or TT offline, and he, but he is really, really effective in unlimited on rookie difficulty or whatever unlimited is on. He is unlimited is good. on an easy difficulty. I will say that. Shots. Vernon Maxwell. Ew. Ew. He's bad, man. He's bad. Ew. He is bad. Yes, he's, he's bad. terrible. He's, he is bad. But he is never use that card, man. Never. He's bad. Then we got Jeff Hornacek. He's tiny, man. B or C. Jeff Hornacek. The is thing B is, he you can't really C put him at tier? C tier. I'm Look who's at C tier right into... now. The C tier player should not be at C tier, in my opinion. That's my opinion. I'd move those guys down and maybe move Luca to C. You know, a guy like Kendall Gill to C, but that's C? me. He's just, one or the other. I, I think... don't know, man. C tier is not very good right I now. I wouldn't really. Uh, C tier should not be, be C tier. As much as I like Luca, I'm gonna move Luca there down we go. to top and C. Yeah. Now move Dan Marley sniper. Don't put top him A tier. A, a, absolute sniper. Wow. Wow. I'm yeah, not gonna argue that. I'm not gonna argue is. that. If Kerry Kid is A, I'm not gonna argue. I'm not gonna argue. Is there any worthless players? I don't think there is even any worthless players left. Can't be Russell. I mean, can't be Russell's good. You got Eddie I Johnson think. here. Are we talking Eddie Johnson can't be Russell? Use him once in a game. I'm going to put him more towards B tier. Can't be Russell, B tier? Else, but he's not bad. Or Eddie Johnson. Can't can't be Russell, if we're talking bad. Eddie Johnson, he's probably can't be B Russell. tier. Can't be. Did he just say can't be Johnson? Okay, I'm confused. Barnacle head. Can't be Russell's A tier. 
Eddie Johnson's B tier. I'm why did I put Kyrie Irving? I meant Eddie Johnson. Eddie Johnson's B tier. My mind is fried right now, DBG. Campy Russell is B. Yo, the disrespect towards my guy Campy. Now we're gonna go first. The straight disrespect. If you've ever used Allen Houston, no arguments. If you have ever used Allen Houston, you know exactly. No arguments. What I will say is I should be better with Allen Houston than I have been in the short time and the short amount I have used the card. This guy is going into S tier, an absolutely broken card, a game changing card in this game, unbelievable. And we got Doug Christie, who's going S. The best shooting guard in the game, Doug Christie. Put him in S. Tier, right Second best, Allen if you Houston. want to go there. Doug Christie, Doug Christie is the best ball. shooting guard in the game. He's leaner. He's got great defense. At this stage, in the great game, defense. He's right up there. He's just a much better version of a Paul George. Doug Christie, best Austin shooting guard Carr. in the game. Ew. I mean, he's fast. He doesn't really shoot the ball that well. What is he, he doing like, for so. you, man? Put him in B. Put him in B. What is he doing for Come you? On, I'm putting him B. He might be a little bit of bias because he's a diamond, but just from looking at him, he does not seem. He to do doesn't much. seem that good. Yeah, Godrich is the same. Yeah, Gerdich is basically like a six foot one Don Marley who's a little bit faster. I'm telling you, he's not good. Campy Russell is better than both of those guys. He Gerdich is. is not he good is. Anything. And I'm, I'm not even good with Campy's release, right but he now. is. You guys think he's good? That's fine, but I do not rate him. I think he is not good whatsoever. Who we got next? Who we got next? Who we got next? And we got Isaiah Ryder. Never use the card. I have the card I and I haven't used it. He's in this tier as well. I heard he's really bad on defense, so I, I really if you're bad on defense. Move Kendall Gill and Kobe. Down, though. You could move Kobe. I really can't. They all kind of belong in this middle tier. His C like, tier is just so bad. Like Kendall Gill and Gal Godrich, because of the fact that Kendall Gill comes with silver clamps. But in my opinion, you, you can't compare a guy like Kendall Gill to Campy Russell. Maybe that's me, but I just don't I don't see it. Um and bronze range. Like it's not like he's that much worse than Godrich. I don't see that, but that's me. Like, there's not much separate in any of these guys in the middle. Unless, obviously, we put badge on him, it's a bit different. But at the minute, there's nothing. We've got James Sides. Ew, he is terrible. I do not like James Sides. I know a lot of people like, like him. I do not like him. Williams. I do not he's like James Silas. He does the job. He's not I very good. I do not like though. him. He can't shoot. Like, it's not like he's the best player in the game at what he does. He's a slight upgrade on a Bobby Jackson, but... What's he going to do, man? I do not like James Silas at all. I think he's fine. I think, again, he does the job. That is the only reason he's on. Brian Winters, A tier. No quick first step, no range extended. That is. The you have got to be kidding me, DBG. How are you going to put Brian Winters on the same level as Deshaun Stevenson? That doesn't even make sense. What Brian Winters has is one of the best releases in the game. You can say he doesn't have a range extended. Look at all the other shooting badges he has. Look at it. Look at it. Look at how good he is on the defensive end. Look at it. Brian Winters, in my opinion, the third best shooting guard in the game. And in my opinion, I'll take him over Allen Houston because he can play a little bit of defense too. Give me Brian Winters over Allen Houston. That one is straight up disrespect for Brian Winters, in my the opinion. The only reason he's not an S tier. Again, Unheard of. I don't he understand. Is, he's got clumps, which is huge. He's Put him in S tier. Great three ball. No range extenders killer. I get it. You can put range extender onto him, but I'm not going to be looking at... Um, Things you Even without range extender, he's an absolute sniper, him, man. So I'm going to be putting him into oh, A tier as is. That one hurts, man. He's got money, Mitch. Mitch Richmond. In my opinion, he should be S, but so should Brian Winters. So what are you going to do? I, I, look, I, I don't know. You can't say Mitch and Brian Winters are comparable to a guy like Deshaun Stevenson or Dan Marley. You just can't. I like this is unreal. A lot. This is unreal. He All should be S, know, and I'm so should Brian S. Winters. Like, again... Mitch Richmond and Alan Houston. I'm just confused how Deshaun Stevenson and Dan Marley are better than Campy Russell, and then a guy like Brian Winters is carried me to seven to my 70 0 record. I'm actually a little bit upset that I saw both of them, but Mitch Richmond, man. He, I don't know what I can say, man. Only 84 3 ball feels like it's 95. It definitely did. With the shots that Danny Mitch Green. felt like crazy. Danny's fine. B. Do not move him to A tier. Do not move him to A tier. He's this category. He's B as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank yeah, I'm, you. I'm happy with that. Danny Green is B tier. He's still not comparable to a guy like Campy Russell, but he's B tier. I mean, I decent just... defensively and can hit a wide open jumper, so he's B tier. Tony Allen, Marcus Smart level. Yes, he's a better defense player, Marcus Smart, but he can't hit a he shot. He can't shoot. Unless you're playing limited. 
Actually, he, he can hit a little bit unlimited. He slides. can. He I, definitely I, I can. Like but that was with the shot stick. Like now, that. now with that, the shot stick's broken. Terrible. It's broken. So like, like Tony Allen's broken. I got Michael Jordan. He's I mean, B. off rip. Like, I guess for me, he would be A because I like him better than Paul George, Sean Stevenson, and Dan Marley. But I don't know, man. If you add badges to Jordan, A tier without question. I'm putting him wow. B tier. I he. The thing for me is if I'm going into a competitive game, you can't, I can't sit here with a straight face and take Deshaun Stevenson over Michael Jordan. I just simply can't. How can you? How can you take a Deshaun Stevenson card over Michael Jordan? I just don't understand. I don't understand. I don't get it. I don't get it. What has he got? Like He got like 90-some speed, though. He can't shoot the ball? 98 on ball steal tendency. At the same time, he's got no quick first step. So, like, if you're looking at his badges he, and stuff, you're like, he's not good. Like, he, he is good, though. Badges. Yeah, he's got good speed. Great speed. And I can't tell you how much speed means Don't in this game. Don't get me wrong. He's got good speed. He's I got can't the tell you. behind the back. And that's what maybe... 98 on board still Maybe like, kind of on the edge of A tier, top of B. But you need to add a whole bunch to him to make him good. You do, but you I'm like still taking like. his base over to Sean Stevenson. You guys might not agree with me, but I, speed means the world in this game right he's now. He's not even like he gets catch and shoot, which means he can hit from the corners better. He doesn't get any shooting back. The thing is, though, his shooting is bad. His shooting Fast is break very finisher bad. is a big one because you basically need one dunk and your whole team gets hot. Yep. It's like the opposite of hard crusher. Hard and he crusher, also man. Hard crusher. So if he gets a steal. Um, Hard crusher and fast break finisher, man. Dunk, he will help change the game with takeover. For that reason, I'm gonna put him in. I'll put him in. I'll put him in. But I'm not the biggest fan. Let's go, man. Let's go, man. Let's go, man. We got Kobe. A. A. Good. If you you start to make me Kobe happy, man. Here. I don't even know if you can. Some people I don't think could. But I don't know if you he can doesn't or not. Range man. anymore. They took his range. As well as that, he's just he's just fine on defense. Like he's past he's good. He's serviceable on defense. He's like he, he says serviceable. You can get away with him. It's not like he's gonna be a lockdown player. I love man. DVG's my job. man. He's fine on that end of the floor. So for that reason, I'm going to put Kobe Bryant. If he can, if he's still at range, he'd be asked, but he doesn't. Ray Allen. S. I'm still amazed by the the stuff that comes out of your mouth. It's painful to me how Ray Allen is better than Brian Winters. It's pain. It's, 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 it's pain. It's pain. Defense matters in this game, guys. Um, again, no clumps. At this stage, I don't care. You can hide him. Like, you can't you don't Allen care. Like you can't really run Allen Hughes and with Mitch Richmond unless you want to run, say, Allen Brian Allen Winters, man. If you want to run Richard Jefferson or Larry Bird or Pierce a power forward, you can get away with the two of them. My whole thing is always having, make sure you have two players in your team with at least silver clamps so that they can match up to Whatever Richard Jefferson's incredible. In but... ball handlers are. Like, the only defender at it is these top guys are Doug Christie. But, like, Doug Christie is the best right there. Here compared to a Brian Winters. Like, you can definitely argue that Brian but all they're going to do is stand there. Out. And I wouldn't. You're not You're not wrong. You're not Yeah, wrong. move Brian if Winters you, up. If you put Brian Winters up here, I wouldn't. Keep him there. Him. Keep him there. Uh, Keep him there. Favorite. Keep him there. Yeah. Keep I'm gonna him put Brian Winters into that conversation with Ray Allen. You're getting, you're basically, you're getting Ray Center and you're giving up pumps. Keep Brian Winters, Winters up there, so yes sir. There. Rip Hamilton. Hey, hey, he's good. Rip Hamilton is fantastic. He's good. He's like Dan Marley 2.0. He's good, absolutely. It's preference who you prefer, Dan Marley or Rip Hamilton. I like Rip, Rip. Hamilton's. DVG and I do share a lot of the same opinions. I do want to say that right away. Whole bunch of gold badges as well as his lot of kind of positives as well. Then we got Mario Ellie. And he, uh, he's a sniper, I uh, guess. But, like, again, because of the price of a Rip Hamilton, oh, he can hit, though. He can hit, though. I'm going to uh, have to put him in the lower end of B. Stop. Let me stop. Hey, man. The lower end of B. <clears throat> You're putting him on the same tier as Campy Russell? I just don't know, man. I just don't know, man. I just, yeah, I can't maybe, see I'm it, man. This, I guess. I can't see it, man. I don't think there's anyone that's two. There's no one that I believe is more than one tier out of position. Like, nah, not one tier, but Campy Russell is one tier out of position. I don't think you can. Ar I, I think these guys are all poor. Like, you can actually argue that, heck, I would say Beal's worthless. Levine serves no purpose. Just don't Beal move. Just don't Maybe move Donovan here. Mitchell down. Maybe this. 
So if there's one guy I think so is the Moore. most out of position, since he moved Brian Winters up, I'm happy with that. I would say my biggest guy is Campy Russell. And just because he's on my squad, I like his height. I like his length. What is Campy Russell? I'm going to go and look because Campy Russell is on my squad right now. So I'm going to go in here and look. Campy Russell is a 6'8 shooting guard. A 6'8 shooting guard with an 87 three ball, 83 ball handle, 70 upper 70 speed and lateral quickness, nine gold badges, 16 on silver. Guys, Campy Russell should be A tier at least, this, in my this opinion. This tier is a lot of just the good enough players. In maybe, my opinion, he should be A tier. Maybe Campy Russell. Looks yes! Oh my. So I'm going to keep him down. Oh my gosh, I hate my soul, DVG. I thought DVG was finna. He moved Brian Winters up. I thought he was finna move Campy up. No, but it's, it's oh very, very my awesome. gosh. So, um, yeah. I thought he was finna move him up, man. But that is gonna wrap it up for the video. Huge shout out to DVG. One of the best tier lists, one of the most ones we've agreed with so far. Huge shout out again to DVG, guys. Drop a like on the video, subscribe if you are new, and leave your comments on this down below. As always, man, I love y'all and have a blessed day.